Oh no, that definitely turned off the limits. Wait, this is the normal physics gun? Oh, that was a mistake. It's a monster truck lawnmower. What the heck? Oh, we're creating a mess here. This is incredible. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Teardown, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be visiting the North Pine Mall, because this is one of the coolest mod maps I've ever seen in Teardown, and uh, I'm ready to shop till I drop. So I've already broken into the place, because apparently this is after business hours, and I probably shouldn't be here. Oh boy, we're going to tear up this whole mall. Like, my goal is to make this thing collapse. Also, later in the episode... We're going to do the impossible, and I'm going to try to lift up the Titanic. And we're going to throw in some other mods, so stay tuned. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying Teardown on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. If not, you're going to get stung by bees, and you're probably wondering why I said that. Well, there's a good reason, because we have the bee gun. This thing shoots hungry bees. This looks amazing. Hold on, let's shoot a bee. There we go. So the bees are not active right now. They're just flying around. But I think once you make them active, they eat everything. So I can fire them all throughout the mall. And they're going to go crazy. I hope this doesn't lag the game out too much. You know, my computer probably cries every time I turn on Teardown. They're like, no, not this again. Just stop. By the way, this is a fantastic map. Uh, what do we got back here? Before we destroy this... Uh, let, oh, actually, as I say that, I shoot something with a shotgun. But before we destroy the whole mall, let's look around. Oh, look at this. We got a little warehouse. Uh, what is this? The IT department? What is this? Like Windows 98 computers? All right. Destroy those. Uh, do you have like a, uh, maybe a safe or something? Come on. They've got to have some sort of deposit thing or maybe a bank inside the mall. Maybe that's why we're uh, in here. We're trying to break into that. Also, the bees are making the funniest noise ever. They're just bouncing around everywhere. It's crazy. Uh, looks like a, maybe a game shop, clothes shop. Uh, there's a car here. Uh, we can try driving it around. Hold on, let's drive it through the mall real quick. I've always kind of wanted to do this. Also, I don't mean anything bad by that, FBI, if you're watching my video. I'm just saying they always have those nice cars in the mall, and I always wanted to take one for a test drive. That's all that means. And oh, okay. Oh, wow, that didn't go very far, did it? Uh, they wouldn't happen to have, like, a big, like, excavator or something on this map, do they? Uh, at least I don't see one right now. Dang it. So the bee gun's got two different modes here. You have the mode that makes the bees just eat everything they bounce into. So let's spawn in some more here. Uh, let's fill up a room, actually. Let's fill up maybe the, uh, the best shoes. There we go. Fill this up here. So if I click R, it turns on them eating. Oh, no, that's laggy. Oh, that sound, though. So they're slowly eating apart at the mall right now. Also, there's a mode to make them explode whenever they hit stuff. Uh, oh dear. You know, this is what Komodo does. He gets over ambitious and he decides to try to do this in a mall and it lags everything out. Do we have enough here? Like, can we make the mall come down with just bees? Okay, this is going to be bad. Okay, just spawn it in. I apologize if this is laggy, but this wouldn't be a teardown episode if I didn't completely lag everything out. There we go. Man, I feel like it's doing some pretty good damage on fire that there. Okay, consider the bee gun one of my new favorite weapons. I hope the bees are not flying out. Like, I got to keep them in here. That way they do max amount of damage. I'm kind of curious if I can get them to start, like, collapsing floors. Uh, this seems like a lot, does it not? Uh, we might have to turn on the explodey mode here in a second because I feel like there's a lot escaping. Hold on, let's look outside real quick. Can we see bees outside? Are they getting out? Uh, hold on, look up here. Oh, it's lagging horribly bad. Uh, I see him flying to the top. Oh, yes, there is some getting out. There goes one. Oh, that might be a problem. All right, let's turn on explodey mode. Oh, <laughs> you see his little lights inside the mall. Oops. Um, well, the lag's gone. Look at the damage we did to the mall. There's a ton of, like, little holes. Uh, there's a little bit of fire. Oh, that's cool. All right, we got to do that one more time. So let's fill it back up. Is the exploding mode off? Okay, so it's just the hunger mode. Actually, let's turn that off too. So that way I can just fill this up and then we are going to explode them all at once. 
try to keep them in here. So they're not going to be eating their way out. So they should, in theory, stay for the most part. Okay, we're going to fill this, folks. It's going to be amazing. Is there a limit to my madness here? Like, I feel like this might be it. All right, we might want to back up a little bit. Let's try standing in here when this goes off. All right, three, two, one, go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And we're just going to spam in even more. Turn hungry mode back on. Oh, there we go. Up, oh, stuff's still exploding. This isn't enough damage. Like, I mean, sure, there's a thousands upon thousands of dollars in damage right now, but this isn't enough. Uh, all right, we need to do something bigger. I mean, I can call an airstrike. That's not a bad thing. Okay, so here's the plane view. Oh, what the heck? Oh, where's the mall? Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, and we gotta change the. Oh, I just shot through that. Uh, I was gonna change the ammo real quick. Let's change it to. Why is this upside down? Is the AC-130 flying upside down right now? I think it's just the angle it's at. All right, let's shoot it with a 105 millimeter cannon. We actually used this last episode. Oh, no. Oh, that was incredible looking. Hold on, we got to actually see this from inside. Uh, fire it again. Dude. All right, you get that big lag, but look at the glass coming down. Okay. Let's do a couple shots here. Uh-oh, that might have been a couple too many. Okay. There's another one there. Another shot. Oh, that is incredible. That's not hurting the actual structure, though. Like, we want this to collapse, so we need to hit on the inside. So we'll try to hit the pillars. Is that possible? Oh, you know what? It's got to eat through the glass first to get down to the pillars. That's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Okay, we got to get even more creative. So, also, by the way, we're going to try using this ultra grav gun. I showed it last episode. We didn't actually play with it. This is what I'm going to use to attempt to lift the Titanic because this is like the normal or the gravity gun that's on the workshop, but there's no limits to it. So I'm hoping we can pick up the Titanic. Okay, so I think the thing we have to do is the black hole. So do I really want to throw this in the middle of this? I got to ask myself this sometimes. Do I really need to do this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, uh, good luck, everybody. Oh, no. Uh, well, it's cleaning them all. Actually, we're doing it. Is oh, we're not doing it a favor. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, eventually it's going to clean them all. Uh, we're cleaning the inside of it out. Is this strong enough to pull the walls down? Oh, this is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Komodo did a bad... Oh, there's cars flying off the other floors. Komodo did a big bad. Um... Yep, this is like last episode. We played with a uh, the junkyard map. This might be a little more extreme. The whole mall is actually getting sucked up right now. Uh, yeah, Komodo did it. Uh oh, oh, the lag's getting worse as more and more pieces of the mall get into the center of the map. This is good. I'm proud. How you guys doing today? Uh, yeah, this is something. You know, we gotta go actually use the B mod on like a person because I feel like using it on one of those big rag dolls will be something. But for the meantime, I'm gonna set here for a second. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I've let it run. We're going to disable the black hole. So if I press C, I should be able to... Uh-oh. 
Oh, we're gonna need a vacuum. Um, well, it's coming back. Dude, the amount of damage it's done to the mall is pretty extraordinary. All right, come on, lag. Let's clear up a little bit. Uh, yeah, the front of the mall's gone. Like, you could see daylight now. Uh, I think we did it. I should probably get off this map, though. If you guys have any ideas how to destroy this mall completely, let me know down in the comments section below. But, uh... Let's move on to something else here. All right, so it's been a while since we've uh, visited the uh, human playground map. What has happened? Uh, they've uh, they've added some what the heck? They've added more than a couple things to this map. What has happened here? This is just cruel. What the heck? So there's a bunch of custom stuff to this map now. Like we can actually just click buttons to uh, throw a head. Like, if I get the extinguisher and right-click it, it throws a head? You gotta be kidding me. What the- <laughs> What is wrong with people? Oh, I love it. Okay, so... That's how we throw a head. There's a head meteor, so... Hold on, let's hit those people up there. Let's go, We Wait, where is it? Come on, is it coming in? Oh! Dude, that's like one of the coolest things ever, and it completely obliterates everybody. Hold on, let's hit this person here. And wait for it. Head meteor. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is truly a playground. Oh, little people. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Hold on. We, we need to explode them real quick. Uh, oh, and I said I was going to use the B gun. Here, let's use it real quick. So we'll go B gun. Oh, yeah. I need to make them hungry. Oh, the hungry just hits them immediately. Oh, these are little rag dolls. Dude, that's so cool. Also, could you imagine being eaten apart by uh, live bees? Oh, you know what? You would need to do this in like a confined area because the bees, even if you shoot them at the people up there, they're going to fly away because they bounce. So we can shoot them like this. And oh, that just looks painful. Oh, and let's just spam this. We're going to eat the insides of this person. So yeah, it uh, kind of... Actually, is it breaking through? Yeah, it's breaking through pretty good. Uh, we got to go through one like focus section real quick. Oh, wait, they're getting trapped in there. They're eating it from the inside out. Oh, that is... That's kind of brutal, to be honest with you. Uh, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Oh, oh man. They're angling them to the side. Get them bouncing. You can hear them chomping on the poor person. Oh. Actually, are they flying out the back? Yeah, they're flying out the back. There's a bunch of holes there now. All right, this is going to hurt. Oh, let's do a couple more on the side here. There we go. Breakthrough. My little bees. Okay, they're eating there. What about his head? Let's have it eat the bottom of his head here. So let's go up through the head. Start angling them all up through there. We're going to start flying out his eyes and stuff. Okay, and let's explode them. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, the person's on fire. Oh, we're lighting their head up. Oh, hold on. A couple more and... Oh. So, is this one not a ragdoll? Huh. There we go. Oh, let's get a closer view here. I have a flying mod, by the way. Oh. Oh, we ate the insides out of this poor person. Ah, and we must dislodge the head real quick. Uh, wait for it. There we go. Hungry bees back on. Oh, okay, come on. We need a release of the head. There it goes. That was something. That was highly inappropriate and highly cool. Oh, can we lift this? Oh, we can lift the head. Let's go. Ugh! <laughs> And let's pick up the person and yeet. Oh, no, we just killed some of the was that the devs? Oh, by the way, there's some youtubers over here. Hey, it's C top We play with him. We play with Chris. We play with Dre. We haven't played with the uh, Finpire So we're gonna leave him alone, but the rest of them There we go That was beautiful. Hey, look we can play the operation game now. We have a fizz gun Hey, okay, fizz gun lifts that out and then here's the rib cage. Can we uh, do a heart transplant? Oh, it's his lungs. Okay, there's that. You don't need that. Oh, I guess you don't need that. Uh, also, there's the brain. We've done the brain transplant before. Is that the heart? Here's the heart. Eh. And, oh. Man, this heart is solid. Where'd you get this from? Ugh. All right, you know what? This is where the heart goes, right? Yep, right there. I am a genius at science. Bye. <laughs> By the way, is this a... Oh, no. This is a monster truck, but it's like got some sort of... Is that blades? Oh, wait, we can do this. Uh, all right. It's a monster truck lawnmower. What the heck? 
All right, we totally have to drive through here. Wait, was there a brain already backed? Oh, no. Okay, that's a whole zombie army. Let's just drive through him. Oh, we're creating a mess here. This is incredible. I like this a whole lot. On. <laughs> oh, dear. There's also a giant head in the background. I kind of want to just fly over through it. Oh, we're flying through people here. Oh, Pokeballs. Oh, looks like weird torture devices. And oh, no, we can't get to that, can we? Wait, is that one big body? Holy man. Uh, can we drive back up? Uh-oh, I think we're stuck. I have to use the fizz. Oh, I think we just flew through something. Uh, wait, what just happened? Can we grab this big thing with the, uh, the ultra grab gun? Okay, I even think it's too big for that. Wait, how does this thing exactly work? Oh, you have to be pretty close. Hmm, so it's gonna be a question of can we grab the Titanic? A uh, very cool map. We'll come back and play with this map a little bit more. I, I really do like this one. It's a really cool thing. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to move over to the Titanic map. All right, so here we are. This is the Titanic. Now we've played with a Titanic map. I believe this one's slightly modified. Uh, I think there's actually a grand staircase in this one. If I had to guess on, let's pop it open here. Oh, there is music playing, and I don't know if it's copyright, so we're going to put in our own little track. By the way, I need to blow this open real quick. Hopefully that didn't damage the grand staircase too bad. Oh. Oh. Dude, this is so cool. It's like a little miniature model, Han. I need another hole. What's in here? Uh, was this the grand staircase? I feel like it might have been, or at least a chunk of it, or it was <laughs> the Grand Staircase. Uh, looking around, there's another thing here. All right, let's try to be less destructive before we try to pick this thing up. Um, No, not the bees. We could do... Uh, no, not the black hole. Let's just use a gun. There we go. This is fine. Let's just break it open. Oh, I can see that it's like a staircase in here. Hold on, let's use a rocket. Need a little bit more of a hole. There we go. Dude, look at that. That is fantastic looking. Man, I love that. All right, well, uh, you know what we have to do. Okay, so we have the Ultra Grav Gun. So if I get close, is it doing it? I think we need to loosen it. So if we go under, oh, we can't see. By the way, this is the way the map is. It's uh, the last one we played on, it was actually light. Uh, this one's not like that. Okay, how do we want to do this? What is the best solution to try to pick up the Titanic? Uh, rockets? That seems like a logical solution. Like, well, eventually, I think it's planet down, so eventually it's gonna loosen itself up. So we need to loosen its platform real quick, and then as soon as it starts to go down, we're gonna attempt to lift it. So I feel like we're doing a good job here. By the way, I have an attack drone here, and we're gonna use it, because I think it's got, oh, it's got like a mini gun. Oh, this works so much better. All right, let's loosen the Titanic. Try not to hit it too much in the side. That little attack drone just kind of flies around wherever. That's a really cool thing, though. By the way, I just noticed the uh, Titanic is completely engulfed in flames in the middle. We're going to ignore that. Uh, it's fine. Uh, also, I feel like they've optimized the game quite a bit. Obviously, I showed that uh, the game still lags quite a bit from what I did earlier, but that was really extreme. But I'm surprisingly not getting like much lag here. Like This is working out really well. Uh, I think we're almost done here, folks. As soon as it loosens, I'm going to attempt to grab it and chunk it. You know, I really wish this was just a straight-up loose object. I know this grav gun is really strong. In the thumbnail, they have it picking up one of the boats in the game. Uh, but I feel like this Titanic's definitely anchored down. So if I could just get it loose to where we can uh, attempt to lift it, that's what I want to see if we can do. I feel like when it collapses, though, it's going to get laggy. So I've got to be ready for that, which I think we're... Oh, we're about at the point of it collapsing, if it's going to do it. If not, it's just going to float in the air, which would be kind of disappointing. Okay, I'm not really sure what the Titanic's holding on to here. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, no. That definitely turned off the limits. Wait, this is the normal physics gun? Oh, that was a mistake. We just did it. Oh, look at the debris coming out of it. All right, we've lifted the Titanic and yeet it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did I just do a bad? Wait, could we have lifted it in the first place? I thought the grab gun was the one that actually made the limits. Or maybe the mod just actually modifies the physics gun. Oh no, it froze. Welp. 
Okay, that was definitely not a fun or smart thing to do. So the ultra grab gun. So this one picks it up, Han. Yeah, okay, so you do have to loosen it because I can't pick it up anymore. So we did prove that you can lift it. Like that's a thing. So yeah, they both seem to work, but the uh, normal fizz gum uh, worked actually relatively well for this thing being cut, but we do have the ultra grab gun, but I don't actually think it's necessary. We proved that you can lift the Titanic. It just needs to be broken off the anchor points. <laughs> That was amazing. Also, it was very, very laggy. But anyways, we'll be back soon with some more mods and some more modded levels. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time in Teardown.